Once a great planet now stands on the brink of destruction. I, Maximus, uh, Jor-El, must try to save my son Cal by sending him off planet with all our civilization's genetic knowledge hidden in his tiny baby pants. If I can get home and put him inside our last pod, he'll be safe. As long as we put enough milk in with him, that should do the trick. It can't fail. Ah, General Zod. He wants to take over the planet which is falling to bits. What a loon. Ah, I trust his space dragon. Ah, senseless waste. Kelix, you drongo, help me get inside. I return to find my home, besieged by General Zord and his fighters. I can't stand uninvited house guests. The front door was locked using a puzzle so complex that only a machine like Kelix could possibly ever solve it. I hoped Lara and Cal were still safe inside. Zod had no idea of my true plans for the Codex, but he seemed determined to stop me at all costs. In some ways, you have to admire his persistence. Another fiery explosion with more of Zod's men trying to hunt me down. It was at this point I began to wish I'd come in through the back door. can get young Cal in the escape pod. I think he might need changing first, though. Zod again? Hasn't he got better things to do? Get a decent haircut? Or not the cradle? Lara and I ages to put that together. Sweetheart, can you remember where we put the instructions for that? Such damage. I had once considered naming my child Zod. Lara argued that we should call him Neil before we both settled. For Cal. I'd definitely choose Neil before Zod now. I'd heard of rocking the cradle, but this was ridiculous. Repairing it would be vital if our plan was to succeed. Zorak, one of Zod's most loyal henchmen and a formidable combatant. Shame smelled worse than a Rondor beast. Feora. A warrior so tough. She was rumored to have taken her vacations on what was left of Wegthor.
cradle was finally rebuilt. This was our only chance. Goodbye, my son. Remember to write. No, wait. Never mind. Zod arrived at last. I couldn't let him stop our mission. Never thought that'd get off the ground. Good luck, son. Your mother's left a bunch of hologram doohickeys in the pod to teach you how to do stuff. And there's some holiday snaps from that trip to Kandor we took. Wherever you end up, make sure you wear plenty of sunscreen. And try not to lose the genetic codex I've hidden in your DNA.